Hello everyone and welcome back to another Best of Decks video. This is the series where I talk about my favourite Pokemon card artwork of every single Pokemon. In today's video we'll be covering the sunny islands of Alola as we make our way through Generation 7. Now I have been making my way through the previous generations and if you want to see my previous videos on them the link to their playlist is just up here. But we are starting off Generation 7 with a banger. First up is Rowlet, and not just any Rowlet. This is the Japanese Munch promo where this adorable bird is being scared by Mimikyu. The artwork on this is fantastic and this set of cards is starting to get very pricey. For Dark Tricks, I have chosen the Akira Igawa artwork who captures this owl using its attacks very nicely. I love the use of movement in the artwork. And then for Decidueye, it's a 5 ban art. I feel like it's a crime to have a Pokemon this cool have a 5 ban artwork as my favourite, but I really like this basic GX card. Seeing Decidueye in the trees as it lines up its arrow shot is really nice. The shading on the card is fantastic as well, so every now and then 5 ban does come through with some good artwork. Litten is an easy choice with the illustration rare from Temporal Forces winning, the art just has Litten doing cat things and getting into places they shouldn't be. One of the books on the shelf even has a shiny Litten on. This Tora cat on the Prowl for Food is my favourite for the middle stage fire cats. I really like how this artwork plays on the dark type aspect of this evolution line by stealing food from a shop's supplies. Then for Incineroar it is the common card from Silver Tempest, which just goes to show no matter how big a cat can be they are all still the same. Seeing this big lion asleep like this is just so cute. Poplio is an adorable Pokemon and this sea lion playing with bubbles on a beach is really nice. This Brion taking a swim in the sea by Saya Teruta is really good. I love their art style and can you find the hidden Pokeball in this artwork? And then to finish off the Gen 7 starters it's Primarina who is taking a deep sea dive under the water and exploring the ocean. Why does this Trumbeak look like it's charging up like a Mayamea? This illustration red charger bug just shows why it's so useful on camping trips. You never know when you'll need a spare battery. I really struggle to say Cravominable's name, but this artwork suits this Yeti crap. This Lycan Rock by Sui is just stunning. Just look at it. I find Mudsdale being one of the heaviest Pokemon really funny. It realistically should be sending this hail bale into orbit. Mahal has made this Salandit look equally evil and adorable. Just look at that facial expression. Beware is two things, adorable and ridiculously strong. The colours used on this Oranguru just chilling at the beach are just too good not to include it.
The Sandy Ghast Illustration Rev and Paldea Evolve shows one of my favourite Pokemon off in a really unique way. Terrorising kids at the playground. I'm trying not to focus on the illustration rares too much in this video, but they are too good not to talk about. Just look at this mini or falling from the sky. I wonder what Mimikyu's watching on TV. The look on Ace Roller's face means that it was watching something very sus. For Kamoo, it has to be this Kawaii card. I absolutely adore the way they illustrate movement. And then for Solgaleo, surprisingly, it's another 5-ban card, and honestly, this is fantastic. Maybe I'm being too harsh on 5-ban. My favourite Lunala card has to be this evil card from Cosmic Eclipse. The colours, the smirk on Lunala's face, all make this a top card. Now there are so many Ultra Beasts I would be here for ages talking about them all, but for most of them I love the artwork for the base cards. The expressions that they give a lot of the Ultra Beasts on the cards are really good. The only exception to this rule is Naganadal and Guzzlord which I've chosen the alt art for. I really like this alt art. Zeraora from Chilling Rain is the best Zeraora card for me, although this was a very close call with the illustration rare from Stellar Crown, which I really do like. Meltan has this cute illustration rare where it's having a shower in the grind of sparks, and for Melmetal it has to be the alt art tag team card featuring Lucario. Seeing them both do karate movements is a nice touch and fitting end to this list. But that's it for this best of decks video. Are there any decisions that you disagree with? Let me know in the comments down below. Next time we are visiting my home nation of Galar, which has a very special place in my heart. But if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Pokemon content. I've been Pigeon, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.